It is my honor to introduce to you Deborah Zake. Each year, she presents the ISPA Alex Zake Humanitarian Award to a well deserving individual. We are so pleased that she's here to join us each year, and it's my distinct pleasure to welcome you, Deborah, our industry's founding cheerleader and a pioneer in the world of spa. Sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows, everything that's wonderful is what I feel when we're together, brighter than a lucky penny. When you're near, the rain goes, disappears, dear, and I feel so fine just to know that you are mine. My life is Hi, I'm Deborah Seke. And I'm Dr. John Boyer, and we are from the San Diego Family Fitness Center pilot study that was started in San Diego to get families to exercise and to have fun together. We're sponsored by the President's Council on Physical Fitness and San Diego Park and Recreation Department, San Diego City Schools, and San Diego State College. And we're trying to find ways that being a family is a whole thing, that you have things to do together, that you enjoy doing together, and at the same time you work like crazy getting healthy. And what we're doing is uniting the family in all groups, and we have had marvelous success in the very small children, the teenagers, the grandparents, parents, all working together. We hope that the fun the families have had together in our three-day-a-week program at these centers will carry over into weekends and into other family activities that they can do in the summertime and throughout the year. And we have the hope that this is really a pilot project, that. These six centers will be copied, and we will do our best to help every community, every city, so that actually every gym in America, there are some 15, 20,000 high school gyms, we envision there will be 15, 20,000 family fitness centers throughout our country, and we're here to do everything we can to help, and we just want to be called upon. All in all, we're very proud, we're very happy with our programs, and we think we have contributed something to the fun and togetherness of family fitness. watched you all grow. I've been speaking every year for 22 years. <laughs> so I know about infinite possibilities and choices. And you know, there's nothing like looking back at myself when I was 50, and then realizing that it truly was me almost 50 years ago. <laughs> I'm still stuck in the same groove, making healthy people healthier. The need has never been greater despite all our efforts. Our country is not making progress. On the contrary, all the indications show a slow, steady deterioration of all health statistics. So why did I show that video? First, I'm proud of it. We had thousands of San Diegans flocking to 16 local gyms, park and recreation centers to move and groove, judging by the music of the time. I asked iSpy if I could show it because I wanted to talk today about the power of one. And today is the perfect time because today's keynote speaker, Blake McCoskey, is all about the power of one. If he can do it, I can do it, you can do it. I remember a point in my life when I was too shy to consider myself a leader or an innovator. The thought of speaking to an audience was terrifying, and I could have stayed inside the sheltering K-12 
care of Rancho La Puerta forever, but it was the world of volunteerism and philanthropy that broke down those gates. Why? Because it pained me even more than shyness to see a need unmet. Dicaria, our hometown in Mexico, is now relatively prosperous. But in 1940, this was before the Great War, in 1940 there were great needs. Infants were literally wrapped in newspaper diapers. Deaf children were being ignored, they weren't even in school, yet most only needed hearing aids. Children went to school hungry. We had to do something. So we convinced all the restaurants in our little town to let us use their kitchen month at a time and make breakfast for the schools. I distributed the meals from a little trailer I towed behind my war surplus jeep. I quickly realized that caring extended beyond our business and soon in simple ways, working hand on, side by side with the women, the mothers of the community, we became a force for change. And that today, on the occasion of presenting the annual humanit humanitarian award, is my charge to you to be a force, to become a force for change. Everyone, everyone in this room is a caring giver. We are in this business because we care. We care how others feel because we know that healthy, strong, happy, centered people are the ones who go out there and make the world a better place. But I've never believed in leaving it entirely up to others, nor can you. I know you can do it because you're an ISPAR member. ISPAR members are leaders, not only of their businesses, but also of their communities. I know you can do it because I, a very shy little girl raised in Tahiti, could do it. You simply must make the choice. Be fearless, unafraid to ask, and not afraid to fail how you think about things that affect the outcome. That's the power of choice. Today, many of you know that I'm busier than ever. I am. Two years ago, I looked around me and saw Americans getting fatter and sicker day by day in spite of all the hard work of the many, many people working to make them healthier. We were like David's confronting Goliath. The culture and money was poisoning our people and our land. I made the choice to start a nonprofit organization called Wellness Warrior and fund it myself as long as it takes to get it going. I aim to unite all the health nuts like you and me, and I use that term proudly, by connecting us, collecting all the great wellness organizations already out there, and communicating between us so that we can learn from each other. Ultimately, education is the key. Educating ourselves about the issues and then advocating changes that will make this nation of ours the healthiest in the world. So many of your clients are not keeping up with the latest news about health unless it applies to them. If it's not about a worry they have personally, they ignore all the warnings in the media that has to change the health of the people, the community. We must change. You, your community, your neighbors depend on it. If we don't pay attention, our country will be destroyed from the inside out. Our air, our water, and our food is under assault by chemical poisons, plastics, GMOs, and industrial industrialization. Our bodies cannot change as fast as our culture has. It simply cannot withstand the onslaught. I often think of the great novel, Cry the Beloved Country. That's the way I feel I cry for my beloved country, the country that has been so good to me. I demand a day and soon when the air is safe, the water is safe, the food is safe. When people eat a plant-based diet that's good for them, and the planet and our citizens 
think prevention first. Together, we must do something that matters. We must have a united voice in Washington and in our state capitals. My ultimate fantasy is a wellness march down the mall in Washington. I may not be alive. I can imagine it. I may not be alive by then, but I'll be watching. Now it's only natural that I find myself talking about the 2013 recipient of the ISPA Alex Seke Humanitarian Award. As always, I look forward to this time of the year when we gather, for I like you, for a few minutes, get to spend time with an extraordinary visionary. Named for my late son, Alex, and, and ISPA, the organization he grew and cared about so deeply, the M Humanitarian of the Year Award seeks out individuals who inspire and amaze us, their careers, their businesses, and their philanthropic commitment spur us all to consider how we can do the same. Blake McCoskey started with an idea in 2006 that probably was deemed certifiably crazy in most business circles. But crazy ideas change the world. Simply put, his now famous company, Tom Shoes, gives away a pair of shoes for every pair purchased. Two million free pairs in 50 countries so far. He calls it one for one. Now he's doing the same thing again with Tom's eyewear helping improve and, in some cases, even restore sight for those in need. Blake's book, Something That Matters, tells you how to incorporate philanthropy in both your profession and your personal life. I've got a copy of that. <laughs> I love it. I stayed up half of last night reading it. If you take home one thing from this 2013 spa, as soon as Blake has finished talking, click on Amazon and order your own copy. It's really great. And, had, and I've been in this business forever, and I learned a lot. I've lived by this creed on myself, and I began to tell you how rewarding, how great, how much fun, this approach is, we'll be here until lunchtime. 